me, oh baby, not stopping me. Can you take it to the top of me? I just wanna love you, baby. Always. Hey, my royalties. It's your girl Naomi, and I'm back with another. Bu -bu 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 Bye. And I say that because every video that I drop, every video my kids drop, it's gonna pop, okay? So click that like button, that subscribe button, cause we popping and we ain't stopping till we reach the top. Y'all heard me. So y'all, today I'm gonna be doing a cooking vlog, y'all. We finna be cooking it up, okay? Cause it's finna be so food Sunday, woohoo! So y'all know we got to cook up some good soul food. So I'm going to do some turkey necks, period. Okay. With some uh rice. We're going to do mac and cheese, y'all. I'm going to do green beans with potatoes. I'm going to do uh some honey cornbread. Cornbread. And I just said cornbread. <laughs> but yes, y'all, that's what's on the menu for this one. So yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into it and show y'all all my ingredients of everything I'm gonna be using. Okay, y'all, so right here I have my turkey necks that I already seasoned up really well, okay? I use some Creole seasoning, I use garlic powder, I use onion powder, I use this oxtail seasoning, even though it says oxtails, it say great for oxtails and whatever else you like so i'm gonna put it on the turkey next okay i put it on there i put some paprika y'all i put season all i also put a little bit of sazon and tabitha brow seasoning okay you want to put just uh, just a good amount of everything in there that way your turkey necks can be well seasoned y'all okay that way your turkey necks will be flavorful okay so that's why it looks like that, y'all. It's giving flavor, okay? And then I'm going to be using the cream of mushroom to put up in there as well. I'm going to do macaroni from scratch, y'all. Okay, macaroni and cheese. We got some honeycomb bread, period. And then we got a can of green beans with potatoes, okay? And i'm also gonna cook some rice y'all some jasmine rice not the regular rice okay <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started okay y'all so i got my uh turkey next right here we're gonna use the pan because we're gonna put it in the oven i got the uh oven already heated preheated to 375 y'all so we're gonna go ahead and put the turkey next in the pan and we're going to wrap it with foil paper, y'all, okay? And don't come for me for my pan, okay? If your pan look like this, that means you be cooking, cooking, okay? <laughs> hey, if anybody want to give me something for Christmas, I do love a new pot set and a new pan set, okay? Yes, because y'all know I got to cook. I got to bring these cooking vlogs to y'all. So we're just going to lay on that thing here, real nice and pretty, okay? I know I could put it in the pot, y'all, but the type of pots I have, you cannot put those in the oven because the handles are not metal, y'all. So I ain't trying to set it on fire for him, so I'm going to use my pan, okay? But if you have a pot, that has the metal handles. You can use your pot and put it in the oven. You don't have to use the pan. Spread that out some. All right then. And then, before we put it in there, y'all, we're gonna go in with some beef broth. I got this from Sam's Club, y'all, okay? They gave me a whole six pack for $8, and that was a good deal. Cause I'm stocked up on beef broth. I do have to get me some more chicken broth when I go back to Sam's Club. But, oh, uh, cause I only have like two containers left of the chicken broth. But you wanna use the whole container of beef broth, y'all, okay? Okay, y'all, now we gonna go and wrap this pan. We gonna wrap this pan up real good. We 
okay? And you want to put this into the oven for one hour on 375, y'all, okay? So I'm going to put my timer. Okay, royalties, I'm over here bo boiling the macaroni, as y'all can see. It's almost done. And then we got the roux going. We're making it from scratch. We melted the butter down, put flour in it. Then we used milk because we ran out of heavy whipping cream and added some seasoning, y'all. Now we wait on it to bubble up. Once it start bubbling up, we're going to go in with our cheeses. I'm using mozzarella, triple cheddar, Kobe, and Monterey Jack cheese, y'all. Okay. Okay, y'all, we finna get ready to put the macaroni in the pan so it can go in the oven, okay? Yes. Oh, I can't wait to taste it, y'all. This is gonna be best and best, okay? Best and Y'all see the roux? We finna pour that roux over this mac and cheese. Look at that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Period. Mm -hmm. That's how you want your roux to look, okay? It look like gravy, but it ain't. It's cheese. Right. You want it to be creamy. This is how we making the mac and cheese. Yes, sir. Say something for the top. Oh, baby. Okay, now we're gonna go in and add some cheese to that. Okay, we're going in with some triple cheddar cheese first. Mm-hmm. Then we're going in with some mozzarella cheese. Crystal say she's ready for her mac and cheese. Then we going in with some Kobe and Monterey Jack cheese, y'all. You want to layer it, you know. Oh, the turkey next is done. So I'm going to put the cream up. Once we put this in there, y'all, I'm going to put that, uh, do the next step of the turkey next. And then it got to cook one more hour. That way it'll be super tender. Okay, y'all, I added the two cans of cream of mushroom in it. So it has to cook for about another hour. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the mac and cheese in the oven as well for 20 minutes. So everything will be cooked by the time the turkey next is done, okay? Okay, royalties, I'm making the cornbread now. Um, I got the honey kind. I got this from H-E-B. Walmart also has it too, y'all. If y'all haven't tried this kind, I definitely recommend it. It is way better than the regular kind. Ever since I tried this, I have not went back to the regular kind, y'all. Um, but yeah, this is easy to do. You know, just stir it. The instructions on the side, you need one egg and one third cup of milk. And I did that, as y'all can see. Gave it a good stir. So now we're going to pour it into this little pan. I only did one box, y'all, so, you know, pour it into this little pan. And then I'm waiting on the mac and cheese to get done. 
once the mac and cheese gets done, then I put this in because this is the last step, y'all. Okay. And I got my rice cooking. My rice is cooking. Y'all see it? Okay. Then we got the green beans and potatoes. That's, uh, you know, heating up. I'm keeping that on the low fire, y'all. All right. That one don't need seasoning because it said that it already has seasoning, y'all. All right. Ooh, it got foggy. Hold on. Okay, there y'all go. Y'all see the mac and cheese? Yes, we're going to give it a little... A few more minutes, y'all, just to get a little dark on the top. And then, yeah, once that get dark, I'm going to check that and the turkey next and see if it's uh, tender yet. Okay, royalties, here we, here we have the mac and cheese, y'all. We got the green beans and potatoes done, okay? We got the honey cornbread done. We got the turkey necks done, y'all, okay? And then we got the rice because we're going to eat some rice and gravy with it, y'all. Now, we're going to show y'all how this mac and cheese looks when you open it. This is how you want your mac and cheese to look once it's done, okay? This is looking to perfection. That ain't burnt, y'all. Yes, it sure ain't burnt. <laughs> it's, made, it's cooked just right. You want it like this, y'all. Yes, go ahead and let's see how it look. Open up. <laughs> it ain't going to. No, it's going to. <laughs> Ooh, okay, hold on. Let's see, y'all. I'm seeing the clamps of it. Yes. That's how you want it to look, y'all. Ooh, it's looking good, nice too. Yes. So we finna go ahead and make our plates, and I'll be right back with y'all. Okay, y'all. I almost forgot to show y'all how tender the turkey necks is, y'all. So we're going to go ahead and break one apart just to give y'all a close-up of it. Okay. Ooh, y'all see how easy that one came apart? Yes, y'all see it. Who wants some? Comment down below if y'all want a plate. Yes, I'll make y'all a plate. <laughs> and let me know what y'all cooking for Sunday's dinner, y'all. Let me know if uh what y'all cooking, what's on the menu, and everything. Mm -hmm. yeah, cool. I put that on my own mama, on my hood. I look like I look good. You can't touch my back, but you could. All right, y'all, that will conclude this cooking vlog, y'all. Um, smack that like button for me if y'all feel like the food looks good. It definitely tastes a good, y'all. I am full. I'm ready to wind down and relax now, y'all. So, yes, y'all. And don't forget, come and talk to me in the comments. Let me know what y'all thinking. I mean, what y'all cooking, not what y'all thinking. <laughs> Let me know what y'all cooking for dinner, y'all. And, um, you know, do y'all eat turkey necks? What type of soul food do y'all like, y'all? Tell me in the comments, okay? Because I love talking to y'all in the comments. Thank y'all so much for tuning in, watching, supporting, like I always say. And if y'all new to the channel and y'all enjoyed this cooking vlog, then click that subscribe button, turn y'all bell on so y'all can get notified every time I drop a new cooking vlog. And y'all let me know, what should I cook next, y'all? Cause it's another month and I got some meals, uh, some meal ideas that I wrote down that I want to cook. So y'all let me know, would y'all like to see more cooking vlogs from me? Um, but yes, y'all, thank y'all so much. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And yes, yeah, that's all y'all. I thought I, I thought I was going to think of something to say, but that's it. Thank y'all. I hope y'all have a blessed night, a blessed day, and we will see y'all. In our next video. Bye, y'all. Peace. Peace out.